But our instincts prime us to choose a mate with a very different immune system to our own. Why? Because that way our children get the best chance of fighting illness. When it comes to these genes, opposites attract. I'm putting these instincts to the test at Newcastle University. I'm going to sniff t-shirts worn by these women. All of us have had our blood tested for six genes that reveal what type of immune system we have. If all six of my genes match all six of a woman's, that's bad. I should find her smell unappealing because our children are likely to be less healthy. But if only one or two genes match, that's good. I should find the smell attractive because it would mean our children would be naturally more healthy. Each woman has slept in a t-shirt over two nights, so it should be really smelly. The t-shirts have been put in a sealed bag and kept in a freezer. I just give you the t-shirts that the women, six women have been wearing. I find it very difficult to believe this is going to work, but I'll try it. OK. Well, it's not quite as bad as I expected. No, I... I don't like that one quite so much. Yeah, that's not bad. I've lined them up. The most attractive smells are on the left. But are they the most genetically different, showing the lowest scores out of six? It's not out of six. Oh, yes. Well, your nose has performed. And then this one. That is, look, not, not out of six. That's Very amazing. Good. That's really good. Fantastic. I'm actually beginning to believe this Fantastic. now. One out of six. One out of six. So now we're presumably counting the ones that I least preferred. Yes. And so they should actually have a higher number. They should have a higher number. Oh. Good Lord. <laughs> this is the last one, and that's four out of six. <laughs> My instincts have evolved to pick up invisible signals to find the most compatible partner.